Tanya TKO here, and I'm just waiting for the link to populate, and then we shall get live on all platforms. Welcome in, welcome in. <clears throat> I'm actually going to be pulling out the board today, so, all right, it says upcoming, let me see, all right, let's take a look, all right. Looks like people are coming in. Welcome. I'm just going to go ahead and get all of these links up, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So the link is here. Let me go ahead and um, get this out to everybody on the text notification squad. Thank you to everybody who has been joining. It's working and there's over 850 people. TKO text squad. There's over 850 people on the text notification squad. So I'm glad that you all are signing up and, you know, and supporting the show by getting your text when I go live. Let me go ahead and get the link out to the people on Telegram. If you want to get free notifications, that's in the description. Um, the text notification costs $1.99 a month or $22 for the year or $50 for the year plus $4.99 if you're international. So that has gone out. Let's go ahead and get live on all of these platforms. All right, let's just get this party started. All right, we're live on Twitch. We're live on Twitter, we're live on Facebook, and we are live on LinkedIn. As well as, you know, we're live on YouTube. YouTube is the main platform. So welcome in, everybody. Welcome. I wanted to talk with you all today about this strange, strange, strange phenomenon that I began noticing um, a few days ago. When I first started talking about this guy, oh, it looks like I'm getting a lot of messages. Oh, so what was that last message? That means the text notification just went out. So let me see, because the other message that I got would have been, let's see, from my publicist letting me know that the thing that we have been looking for is available. Ah. Uh, no, I didn't get the message from the publicist that what we're looking for is available just yet. But, you know, so someone's saying I look tired. Yeah, you know what? I am. I'm a little disappointed in us as black women. And I wanted to to talk with us about that today. Uh, you know what? I'm going to show you all some um, some. I'm going to show you all some some uh, responses that I've been getting over the past few days, right? So let me go ahead and get this here. Um, all right, so this is, this is one of them right here, right? This is in response to the video that I wrote, well, that I did about um, Macbeth, right? Um, angry biracial and just his his criminality, his long history of violence and current violence as of now. And this person writes and she says, well, I, I imagine it's a she from that cute little emoji thing. And this person is like, Jesus, the man have a tragic past, P-A-S-S-E-D, due to being abused by his parents for years. And he said that he need more healing without checking. I will assume that he did things. This is bitter. Just accept the uplifting of the black women he passed doesn't change the fact of the uplifting. Someone need to do it because black men don't. <sighs> oh, my goodness. 
Then there's this message someone sent me because I'm not on this person's page. Uh, so this is from this is from the criminal's page himself, right? And it says, "Yeah, Tanya is doing too much. Maybe she want you. I see video after video. Yeah, she calling you a woman beater. Was you?" Question mark. I don't know, but she went very far. Went into your arrest history. <laughs> right? And, oh, you know what? I don't have the, damn it. I don't have the, the second part to this. Because the second part, you know what? Maybe, oh, oh, there it is. There it is. It's down at the bottom. It's down at the bottom. I didn't see that. He said, I only have three cases and they were dismissed. Hmm. So he's claiming he only has three cases. We showed the, the long rap sheet. We showed the craziness of this, of this Iraq lies. We showed you how he doctored the, um, the, the comments on his Discord that he's using in his videos currently. Like, we showed this. And... His word, so people are not even checking, like that last person was like, without even checking. It's like, so it's there, you won't even look, right? Here's another thread. This thread, it, it just, oh, hold on. Oh, oh, that's actually the, the, um, the person with the cute little emoji thing, right? I just took a whole picture of the whole thing, right? And so if you can see it, it says, um... I'm like, you obviously didn't read this, that, and the other. And uh, you know what? Let me just, I'm going to go to the next photo because it's a long ass thread. Then here's a person who has her natural hair and stuff in her little cartoon emoji. And she says, it feels like you baited him into an unnecessary argument to create juicy content. This man obviously don't want any smoke with you, yet you keep going in on him why? Because he phrased a post differently than you would have? I support your content. I just don't agree with you on this one. And 13 people like this, right? And then, oh, look down here at the bottom. Someone comes in and says, I agree with your statement, Jordan. Right? Okay. Then this this is a whole long thread. Let me see. Let me see if I can. I don't even know if I can make this larger because the screen that this is in. Oh, here, here, here. Let's see. Let's get this. Let's get this back. Let's get this back. So the person is saying, but most of those cases were, was dismissed. It's in his public record. He was homeless and he admits to what he'd done in the army with all due respect, respectfully. And then this person is going on and people are going back and forth. One person is like, um, I don't know who's lying, him or her. I mean, you don't have to take my word for it. The evidence is right there. It's like, it just doesn't make any, it just doesn't make any sense. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one from a person talking about I usually agree with Tasha TKO, but not this time. And I say, keep watching. The expose went down tonight. And the person is like, smear campaign on a black family is not cool. Down thumbs. And I'm like, okay, well, so keep, a, keep supporting him. You deserve what you get. That's what I was going to name tonight's video. Black women deserve what they get. That's what I was going to name it. But I said, you know what? Let me, let me, let me, let me switch it up and just. And then here, here's another person, long old thread. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is this person talking about, you are entirely too old to be carrying on like this. And then, oh, you know what? 13 people like that one too. And 13 people like the one on the bottom. Interesting, huh? Okay. Coincidence? I don't know. There's a whole bunch of accounts. 
um, just coming and just typing nonsensical foolishness, right? Then this is just petty and ridiculous. I lost respect for you. Unsubscribe. <laughs> right? Then do I have any more? Okay, so those are my, my thumbnails. All right. So there's there's so there's so many more. There's so there's so many more. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna give a small creator a little bit of shine. Um because I was on his page. Uh but, 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 where's his video? Oh, I closed the tab. Let me see. I have to I'd have to go into my history. Let me go into my history and open up let me go into my history and open oh i need to open up a new tab i'm going to i'm going to give this smaller creator a little bit of shine his name is like nefakare or something like that desalenes I'll, I'll 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 show you in just a moment he did a video on me the other day and this whole boondoggle this whole thing is a boondoggle. It's just pure, pure foolishness, right? Um, hey, I'm just scrolling through my history. Here it is. I just found it. I just found it. All right. So this person's page is called, uh, let's see. Let's see what the name of this person's page is. Oh, this is so large. Let me make this smaller. Small, 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 small. There's a, there's a, there's a discussion that I want to have, and I'm going to bring out my board because this guy right here. Part of the reason that I'm really not enthused about giving him shine is because he was calling black women names, calling us dumb, stupid, all this other stuff, right? But after seeing some of these comments, so he's going to read some of these comments that he saw now, on this isn't person's that the page. Same thing that Tariq and she supporters say. Oh man. Put the hair blockers on. Oh, you just hating. Why you hating on Tariq? Why you hating on Tariq? Here, so here, so here, so here. So let me, so he, so he did a video. Let me, um, I, I showed you all his name, right? I showed you his name in the large screenshot. If not, I'll show you when I come out of it, right? All right. So, uh, I hate when this happens. Like, I'm looking for my thing. Can't find it. Here. Here we go. All right. So I need to get my volume in the right ear. Here we go. The receipts and the documents could be pulled up in front of their face, and they're still going to look the other way. Here, look. look and he look. thinks that black women with two black parents are lower on the hierarchy in compared to mixed women. He said, remember what he said in the screenshot? He said, biracial women are nothing but black women with a white parent you saw when tiny tko broke it down and she exposed them she said what did you mean that they're just so you didn't see his name this is his name right the, oh it's you know, it's not showing my bad my bad there it is down at the bottom it is nefekare t desalinas i don't know how he expect people to be able to find him who gonna be able to spell all of that nefekare this is this is his name. I'll make it larger so you can see. This is this is his name, and that's the name of the video right there. Angry biracial versus Tanya TKO reaction. And he did a whole reaction. I watched the whole thing actually. Um, so here. Black women. Oh, you you just a black woman. Like you just a janitor. You just a bum. You just a child. And Tanya TKO came to the defense of black women. And now black women is talking about man. I'm I'm unsubscribing. I'm unsubscribing. Why? Because you attacking our Arab friend. You're attacking our Arab buddy. And that, my friend, is why so many, so many, so many, so many sisters in our community choose terrible men. Because the red flags could be in their face. The receipts and the documents could be pulled up in front of their face, and they still gonna look the other way and be like, I don't care what you say. I'm still gonna ride for him. Why? Because he makes me feel good. I like what he has to say. Even if he's a self-admitted broken man with identity issues and childhood trauma, they'll still follow behind him because he makes me feel good. I told you in the beginning of the video, we had a lot to break down. This was a multi, this was a multi-layer discussion. That's why this video was longer than the others, man. It was just so much that we had to break down to the smallest molecule. The next comment, take a look up on the screen. By oh, he God done, he done comments already? Hold on, because I wanted you to see all of the comments. Oh, look, it starts over here. Sorry, my bad, y'all. Let me go back. He wishes he was accepted as a black man. 
and these black women in his comment section, they wish they could get a black man of any consequence, of any significance. And because neither of these things will ever become a reality, they continue to bond over their shared experiences, over their shared trauma, over their shared rejection. Now, let's continue. We got this comment on the screen, it said, from Shauna's Vintage Closet. She said, I tuned into this live at the last minute. I feel like you were crucified on her show. You were so humble towards her, and she would not let it go. You even apologized. You know what? Damn it, Nefakare. Dita Salinas. Damn it. I don't know where the things begin. Oh, look, there's a comment way back here. Oh, so this is going on for some time. How much longer, baby boy? How much longer? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Because he gets into... Okay, so let's see. This is... This is this whole thing. This whole thing is so and I realized after going through this boondoggle, I realized why I don't respond to people when they when they go through all of this. I, I realized why I don't, because all of this is just this has really made me. This mm. ambushed by Tanya TKO. And let's take a look at some of the comments in his comment section before we get up out of here so you can see how profitable this niche is. You can see how profitable this this segment on social media is and if any if any of my brothers in the comment section hey if y'all down on your luck if money's tight right now if the checking account is in overdraft listen bro grab your microphone grab your camera i guarantee you're gonna run up a bag off these chicks bro run up a bag off these chicks bro you can run up five thousand ten thousand twenty thousand thirty thousand real quick real quick bro why do you think the Democrat Party always leans on black women every election season? Because they know pander to black women, pander to her, she'll give you everything in her pocket. She'll give it up for you, man. She'll ride for you blindly. Even if you a damn Arab, a damn Arab whose people still got black people in slavery still to this day, they'll get behind you just because they have that much hatred in their heart for black men. Now, let's jump into some of these comments, man. The first one, take a look up on the screen. This lady by the name of Lynn B, she says, I didn't see the live you're referring to, however, as a biracial man who is vocally defending black women, you definitely deserve to be supported and protected. I'm so sorry if a black woman of all people ambushed you and hurt your feelings. It may be best going forward to avoid collaborations with other content creators in order to protect yourself, your space, and your endeavors. I'm new to your channel, but in spite of this, I trust that your heart is pure. I'm so sorry that you were put on the defensive and subject to someone else's doubt. Please, please keep going. Keep doing you and don't change for anyone. There will be many more black women who will believe in you in comparison to those who might doubt you and who will thank you for your brave voice tell the pain in your heart that this too shall pass and so it will be it'll be diminished in the morning and on every day thereafter until it's of no consequence after that all that would be left is your wisdom and the important lessons that you learned wishing many blessings to you and your wife now what i say brothers what i say i'm telling y'all if any of y'all boys is broke in my comment section and you have no honor no dignity no integrity and you're trying to get rich real quick make a youtube channel and just tell the world, proclaim to the world on how black men are the scum of the earth. I'm telling you, that's the formula right now. That's the formula right now. Like you remember back in the day, around 10 years ago, if you had a beat produced by DJ Mustard, it was a hit automatically. It was going to be on the radio 24-7. This anti-black male propaganda machine, this is like a DJ Mustard beat from 2011. It doesn't matter what you do, it's going to be a hit. It's going to be a smash. It's going to go to the top. The algorithm is going to reward you. The algorithm is going to boost your channel. And once the algorithm starts boosting your channel, the women are gonna spread it like wildfire, like word of mouth. And you know, is he lying TKO though? Called him out. What did he say? In typical con artist fashion, just like Tariq Nasheed, he basically told her, "Oh, you just hating. Oh, those are my haters. Oh, that ain't nothing. They just hating. They just hating." And that's basically what this lady said in a comment. Basically said, "Don't worry about the haters. Oh, it's just the haters, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro." I'm telling you, it's so easy to be a grifter on social media. It's just too easy. It's just so many people that are just ready to be capitalized on. Anyways, let's continue. We got another comment from a lady who goes by the name of Amiza Kita. She said, I feel sorry for kids that are mixed race having to deal with this. I'm grateful my child is blackity black black. <laughs> hey, sis, I feel you, sis. I feel you. I don't got these problems, man. I don't got these problems. I don't got no white grandparents. I don't got no white. Instead of asking themselves, why am I only eligible connection is made you see on the angry biracial side he got anger and frustration in his heart because black men have always rejected him the black men the black men that are productive hard work i'm just gonna fast forward till we get to the next comment doing what they're supposed to do handling their business they just ignore these folks they don't even see these folks because at the end of the day they know this one thing is fact the angry biracial he wishes he was a black man he wishes he was accepted as a black man 
and these black women in his comment section, they wish I they actually could get a black man. He, I think he was. I think he wish he was accepted as a white man. You what you talking about? He had white supremacists on his channel, according to according to the the report. So come on. And of any consequence, of any significance, and because neither of these things will ever become a reality, they continue to bond over their shared experiences, over their shared trauma, over their shared rejection. Now let's continue. We got this comment on the screen. It said. From Shauna's Vintage Closet. She said, I tuned into this live at the last minute. I feel like you were crucified on her show. You were so humble towards her and she would not let it go. You even apologized to her and she still wanted to confront you. I was so irritated by her because she comes off as a narcissist. She is a bully and does not take to critique. I have been subscribed to her for a very long time and I witnessed her behavior like this before. The last time I unsubscribed to her because her behavior was so disgusting. I am glad you made a video and sharing your honest feeling about how you felt. Good for you. I listened to the end of her show and she mentioned perhaps coming on again to clear things up. She only wants subscribers to bow down. Keep doing what you are doing and thank you for your contribution. You are not wrong. She was. Now, brothers, I'm telling you, this is why I said this con game, this grift, pandering to the bitter black women, the unhappy black women on social media that hate black men. I'm telling you, it's so profitable because look, these women will go against their own. They'll go against their own sisters. They already went against the black man, but they'll go against their own sisters. They'll go against their own people at this point, because if you're going against the black man and the black woman, then you are against your own people. They'll go against their own people just for a multiracial Arab who hates black people. That's why I'm telling you, bro, if you're trying to get rich, if you're trying to run up a bag, if you're trying to be driving a Benz by 2024, if you need a quick lump sum of cash to go make a play, I'm telling you, this is the easiest way. This is the easiest grift. This is the easiest con game. And if I had no integrity, if I had no honesty and honor about myself, if I had no love for my people and my ancestors, as well as my community, I'm telling you, I could turn my channel up straight to 100,000 subscribers in less than 90 days. A lot of these women on social media are so unhappy. They'll go against their own sisters, bro. They'll go against their own sisters. And guess what? Nobody's going to call it out. I'm going to call it out, though. You know me on my channel. I'm going to call out everything. Now, let's continue. This next comment. Keep doing your thing, angry biracial. Please don't let people like this rock your face in good people. One thing I've learned is that hurt people hurt people. A lot of women who claim to be on the internet trying to help black women but can't maintain long-term relationships tell on themselves. If they can't maintain their own relationships, what does that tell you about trying to do right by relationships with strangers? Thanks for speaking up and doing your thing. Now, keep... You know, I want to pause that real quick. There's so much that he's saying. I wanted to pause it before, but it was moving so quickly. So number one, number one, let me just address that real quick. When I read that, I was like, how do people know what long-term relationships people do or don't have? Don't do it. It's like people take this social media stuff for, and you know what? There's so many, they, they take it for the whole, the complete totality whole of a person's life. Not only that, I would hope that people would see from my own example, that when you find yourself in cahoots with people who are going in a completely different path than you, and you've done what it is that you need to do, that you can peacefully and amicab amicably go your separate ways. If you have diametrically opposed views and people exhibit start exhibiting toxic or detrimental behavior, you don't have to stay up in their face and in their midst for the, you see, why do we do this to women? Continue to talk about, oh, you can't keep a man. Now you're supposed to hold on to ragged, dead associations, toxic associations, just so people could be like, oh, you maintain long term. You don't know what anybody has off of this internet. This is unbelievable. And then I also wanted to talk about how he's talking about how black women will go against their own sister. One of the things that he said was, the only thing Tanya TKO did was try to defend black women. And now they're angry and turning on her for him. And I'm like, you know what? What did I do? I heard him make a statement that was problematic. And I, and I, I, I attempted to get him to clear it up so that we could move on because I wanted to support him. I'm going to pause this right here. I'm going to come back to Nefakare's video, but I want to get into the list real quick and then we'll come back to some of the comments because this is how the comments are. And men are laughing at us. White people are laughing at us. Black men are laughing at us. I just don't know what it's going to take for us to learn, to learn our lesson. The, and this guy inside this video was talking about how the community looks the way it does 
because of black women continuing to make poor choices in giving people a chance when they see all these red flags and continuing to move forward and all this that and the other. And it got me to thinking, right? So let me grab my board real quick. Let me just grab the board and bring it over here, right? So that we can talk, right? Let's, 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 let's talk real quick because I am curious. I'm curious and I'd like to know, right? I'd like to know what are our requirements before somebody, one side is higher than the other, this side is higher. All right, much better, much better. Actually, I should have lowered the other side. No! Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's good. Good enough. 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 I'm curious. What does it, what will it take? I'm curious. For us as Black women, what does it take for us to give a person our support. I was thinking about this today and I really didn't want to do this video, but it kept nagging on my spirit. So I was like, okay, let me come forward and just go ahead and do the video. I, I have people talking about, oh, you know, that your, your charges were in the past. They won't even look at the charges. The man has been arrested multiple times for stalking, harassment, domestic violence, um, violating a protective order, all of this stuff, right? He had an order of protection against him. Um, people are saying, uh, well, uh, one particular reporter is saying that he has, that there's credible evidence of child abuse, all of these different things that are going on. And black women are still coming out talking about protect him at all costs merely because he's saying some flowery words. So I'm curious. Does it matter if a woman, if, if a woman was beat by a man? Does it matter if this man is a man, a, a, a woman beater, right? Like, what will it take? What will it take? Does it matter if he's a woman beater, right? Does it matter if, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm curious. Does it matter if he was just bashing them four months ago? As Magic Mulata just said on the screen. Does it matter if he was bashing just a short while ago with no proof of any type of psychological help? It's like one day he went from bashing black women behind the scenes to then coming forward, uplifting black women. I'm hearing that he's making videos talking about, I used to be a misogynist. Okay, so you were a misogynist on Monday and a black woman supporter on Tuesday, but then when you ask questions, you crumble like a fucking... Like a, like, a, like a shirt falling off the door going clothesline. So does, it doesn't matter if he was bashing just a little while ago, right? That doesn't matter. Does it matter if he abuses children? Does that matter? I mean, the, to ask, the, to ask the, the, the question, because there's a reporter that says that there's credible evidence of that. To even ask the question and, and look for the evidence or see, because if this happened in December 2022, that means that there has to be some sort of CPS case open on, on it, some sort of case, right? So, he can woman beater, he could have been bashing just a little while ago, abused children, no mental health care, right? No mental health. What about, what about, um, credentials, right? No credentials? No, it, it doesn't matter whether he has credentials, whether or not he has any, any type of training, right? So he doesn't have to have any, I feel like my board is not in focus. There it is. Let me move back just a little so that we can all get in focus here. Let's focus. But I feel like, I feel like my, like the area is, Stopping me. Okay, here. Let me use my core muscles. Uh-oh, let me move that back a little bit. While I'm doing this, if you want to send the apples through, the link is in the description. It's just like my name down here at the bottom. It's at Tanya T. It's dollar sign Tanya TKO on Cash App. I'm getting ready to read the Cash Apps because I hear them coming through, right? No mental health care, no credentials. Um, does it matter if if he can verify 
doesn't matter if he can verify any of his claims, right? Um, does it does it matter whether or not he has a healthy marriage, or does it, or or, or the only thing that matters is if that he says that he's married, right? Does it matter the quality of his marriage that he claims that he has? Does it matter the quality of the marriage? Does that matter? Does it matter if he's broke? If he's out here giving all of this advice and his affairs are not in order? Does it matter if he's bankrupt? If he has six children and bankrupt, right? Does that matter? If he, if his wife is taking care of him, or they're living off the system, or scamming for money, warrants. Does it matter if he has open warrants, as we read on the on the on the um the background check? Does it matter if he has warrants, right? Does it matter? Come, 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 give me some. I'm, listen, this is a live show. I told you I could not find a marriage certificate, Capricorn Queen, so we already know that from last night's video. So help me, right? Help me understand. I want you all, I want you all to give me some, some other examples. Doesn't matter if he's cheated, right? Because we see that Derek Jackson is a man whore. Street meat Jackson. Does it matter if he's a cheater? Does it matter if he's an abuser? Does it matter if he is lying as we speak and manipulating? You know, I wanted to do a video earlier today about... I wonder if I will be able to do it even after I do this one. Because I really just want to show how the screenshots that he's putting up, that he is creating division between black women and biracial women and multiracial women by lying that these women called his wife a monkey when he is the one who altered the the screenshots he altered the words for to make it appear as if these biracial women called his black wife a monkey and all this other stuff he is lying right now not in 2010 not in 24 well he was lying back then too he was lying in 2010 he was lying in 2014 he was lying in 2007 he is currently a fraud. He's perpetrating a fraud. Does it matter if he is a fraud, right? Does it matter? Does it matter? Does it matter if he exhibits traits? Like so many of you like to talk about what narcissists are. <laughs> the strange part, right, is that the woman is calling... So she's done some research about what narcissists... Pe D is, right? Or just narcissistic traits. But she's calling me the narcissist when she is talking right to one. So it's like, what is it? What is it that we're doing all of this research for, right? What is it that we're learning about all of this NPD and all of this stuff for? Why are we learning it? If we are not able to see that a person is lying right to us. Does it even matter, right? Does it even matter? What does it take, right? What does it... So it doesn't matter if he's a woman beater. Chris Brown, we saw that he beat Rihanna. We saw that he still has anger management issues. He's, Chris Brown is a colorist. He doesn't even like you dark bees, just like Tyree Nichols, right? Does it matter if he is a colorist? Does it matter? Does it matter? Does it matter if he was bashing just a little while ago? Does it matter if he's abused children? Does it matter if he has no mental health care, doesn't even believe in mental health, or hasn't spoken about any mental health? And you know, now that I'm mentioning this in the video, now he has the recipe. So now he's going to start talking about what mental health care he's gotten. But meanwhile... Four months ago, he was disrespecting black women, talking about how he needs to get his bag up and he doesn't mind trolling to do it. It doesn't matter if he has no credentials, no type of training. It doesn't matter if he's able to verify anything. Let me put lie on here. It doesn't matter if he is actively lying. 
It doesn't matter the quality of his marriage, whether he's bankrupt, whether he has warrants, whether he's a cheater, an abuser, a fraud, or a colorist, right? Chris Brown is a colorist, right? He wouldn't let dark-skinned women into his club. And does it matter? It's like all it takes is the word of a man. There's no proof. There's no proof. All this man had to do was give the hint that there was some perhaps weird text between from my way to his way, right? He can't provide any proof. And you see his, his, his beige ass, his tan, his khaki ass has not, right? He hasn't put up any fake screenshots. But all it took was the hint of him saying just a man's word against a lying man's word against me, a woman, right? And I'm the one who is now being accused. Let me tell you something. If a woman is ongoingly sending your man, quote unquote, weird texts, right? And he's continuing to interact, that motherfucker wants those weird texts. If a man, after the fact, starts making up stories about some fucking weird texts, he wanted those weird texts. He wished that they came. And he's probably fribulating in his fucking chest that they never did. That's probably why he was writing me. He showed the proof that he was writing me um, some damn sorry messages at, at some damn after midnight, right? He can't show that I was writing him at all hours. He can't tell him to show it, but he won't. But all it took was his word, right? So what, what does it take for us black women? What does it take? I wish I had one of those big poster writing, poster writing um, markers, right? Because I don't want to start a whole new page for this, for what it is that I'm about to write. What does it take? I want, I want, I, I want you all to tell me. What does it take? Because, listen, they, they, don't, they don't care. They don't seem to care, but what is it that it takes for a black woman to follow these fools? He could be all of those things. He can be white. He can be black. He can be biracial. It doesn't really matter. What is it that he needs to have? And this is it right here. This is it. Can you see that? Can you see what that says? What does that say? What does that say right there? You see, that says P-U-H. What am I about to write? <laughs> What am I about to write? P U H. Uh huh. What does that say? S U N. What am I about to write? Knockouts who were here a year ago. What does it take? I need somebody to write it so that I don't have to be the only one writing it. What does it take? What am I writing on the board? What am I writing? Okay, so, Pa, what does this say? Come on, tell me, because somebody knows this. <laughs> Shout out to Tony42, right? Tony42 knows. All it takes is a pa son with a what? A pa son with a here. Can you see this? P A A P A E. Pay a. Yes. Pay a nurse. A pa son with a pay a nurse. That's all it takes. Oh, it just takes a pause on. With a fairness. That's all it takes is a pause on with a fairness. Is the penis clean? It don't matter. Is the penis only for his wife? It don't matter. Don't got no real marriage certificate on file? Don't matter. Wife abused and looking like a hostage on video? Don't matter. It don't matter. Dick dry and ashy don't matter. Dick out here going from, from Miami to Maine don't matter. It don't matter. All that matters is that he is what? A possum with a pianist. Oh, possum with pianist. Come here. Oh, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. We are so desperate. We're so desperate. What will it take for us to learn 
How many more of these? Listen, let me let me play something for you all. Now, this is a clip. It has Andrew Tate's voice in it. And he is a bum in and of himself, right? But what it is that he's saying, I think, needs to be heard because it, it adds some insight to us and some of the issues that we have in this country, right? <clears throat> All it takes is a person with a pairness. That's all it takes. That's all it takes is a person with a pairness. Here, let me just play this real quick because I just want to be done with this video. Did you see that study where they asked a bunch of kids in China what they wanted to grow up to be? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got I to turn the volume down on this. It's too loud. Too doggone loud. It's too loud. Me lied here. Oh, now there's no Isn't volume on it. Here, let me just get this. Let me, let me, let me. I mean, Ross, lad, why did thing that? Let me, I need to get my thing back where it needs to be here. Give me one second. I'm just going to go ahead because I need to control my volume. I have multiple screens and I need to control my, I need to control the volume in one of the screens and the screen, it was on the same screen. So I should have known better than to do that like that. But let me, let me go ahead and get this here. Right. Hmm. So anyway, so I'm going to have to refresh this so that you all can hear the whole thing because it is, it's profound and I want us to pay attention and then we'll go back to Nefakare. We'll go back to him and listen to some more of, of, of his dramatic reenactments of um his dramatic reenactments so here let's refresh this and get get back on all right here did you see that study where they asked a bunch of kids in china what they wanted to grow up to be and and not, most of them said engineer or astronaut and they asked all the kids in america and they all said youtuber blogger i know three computing languages i do know javascript and python and i code on the computer i feel really excited because next time I might be able to program an AI. I could have vital conversations with me. YouTuber, movie star, a famous actor, actor. I'll be a Pokemon trainer, actor. How can you win in the long term? The Chinese children want to grow up to know shit and, 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 the, and, the, and the kids in the West want to fuck about with the camera. All right, I Did want you to pay attention. you see that study where they asked a bunch of kids in China? They I want to you to pay computer. attention to what it is that he's saying. What is it that we just saw, right? So one of the things that he's talking about is how in this country, the kids want to grow up to be movies, YouTube stars, YouTube famous. Black women, please understand that there's a lot of people now that are looking for validation from getting views and clicks online. There are people who are trying to feed themselves by making money online. And I'm not just, I'm not even just talking about men. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with wanting to feed and needing to feed yourself. We all have to feed ourselves. However, is there integrity behind their actions? Are they doing X, Y, Z just for clicks? We keep allowing trolls to get views. We keep allowing, oh, the, oh, people to profit off of our pain. Oh, if this person says something about black women. I am, um, I, I behind the scenes asked some of the people in the text notification squad from the Telegram group to do something very quietly to assist me with some, with an issue that I was having with a, a video, right? It wasn't my video, and I asked them to quietly just handle business for me because typically I'm just one person because I like the people to just stay suppressed and, and, and just go out into the ether unknown, right? And I asked them to perform a task. I'm not going to say what the task is because this is private behind-the-scenes stuff, right? They started giving the person comments and engagement. They started watching the whole thing through right? Somebody who's bullying and harassing and just acting the fucking fool, telling lies and all this other shit, right? They started commenting on his shit. 
giving the person engagement, giving the person numbers, clicks, and views. And all I wanted was for them to just perform an action, a very simple action. And it's like, we're not getting it. We don't get that engagement is the name of the game. If there's some content that you don't like, don't fucking engage with it. It's as simple as that. I got people who are now involved in this here drama right here who are going over to this bum's page, this criminal, this grifter, this abuser, and watching his videos and watching it all the way through and reporting back on it and and then getting other people to go watch too. And I'm like, don't you understand that that is, I mean, I showed you all the comment that he put up about how he was only making $40 a month and he wanted to get up to $1,000 a month, right? And it's like, what is it that we're not getting? That reminds me, I need to check these apples. I need to check these apples. Let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, let's take a look at the apples and see what we have here. All right, let's see. All right, so Portia sends a dollar and says, some people are, lo are lost cause. Gotta just wash your hands. No, I feel you. I feel you. I'm just, I have, I have some questions. You know what? I might have to pull back out the board again. Ashaki sends $2 and says, first time here. Thank you for your hard work. Okay, are you the first time on the channel or your first time sending a cash app? Because those are different things, you know, but first time here, that would also mean this is your first time sending a cash app. So I'm going to make note of that. Okay, okay. Bernadette sends $2 and has hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses. Thank you, sweetie pie. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Glynis sends $10 and says, Tanya, he turns on and off his stuttering. He's a liar. You know what's really funny? Um, I, when I was making fun of his stuttering in the video last night, there were some mothers who were, who were upset and offended because their daughters stutter and, or their children stutter or their father whom they love stutters. And so they were offended because I was mocking him and saying that people don't necessarily stutter when they lie. And then they started um, defending him, saying that he has a disability and he also stutters when he's relaxed. And I'm like, he's lying most of the time. So personally, I don't really know how to, because his, him and his lying and the way that he stutters when he lies, I feel deserves to be mocked. But I don't want to mock the innocent. I don't want to mock you know, little children who are suffering and struggling. You know, David Goggins used to have a, a, a terrible stammer and he was able to work on it. So now he's able to speak without the stammer. And so, I, I mean, I have an un a dear uncle who I, <clears throat> who I love and he also has a stammer. So that's how I know what it sounds like when a person is trying to get it out. You know what I'm saying? And I, I... I don't know. I, I don't know how to find that balance between mocking a person who deserves to be mocked and not offending those people who, um, who you know, who didn't do anything wrong to me or, or anyone else. You know, Stephen sends $5 and says, if he moves in with the lady, you dead in the water. What does that mean? If he moves in with the lady, you... you um, you sending this to the right cash app, sir? For those of you who are wondering, my cash app is a verified cash app, so you make sure you're sending it to the right place because there are lots of grifters there who are just looking for you to spell my name wrong. So it's www.cash.app forward slash dollar sign Tanya TKO. It's a verified cash app. It has a dot. It has um. It had. It has my name. I don't, because, you know, other people have, they use your picture and stuff like that, but it's a verified cash app, so you know you're sending it to the right place. The link is also in the description of every video, so you can send it right through. And you can go to Cash App, view the page, make sure it's the right one, and then send it through. Um, I, let me see if I can show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. You see how it has the, the verified symbol right there, and it's the dollar sign Tanya TKO. It's right there. 
So it's like you don't have to get tricked out of your hard earned money, you know, because I want you to be able to send it to the right place. So um, Glynis sends a dollar and says, love your whiteboard sessions. Thank you. People used to really enjoy those back in the days when I used to do more teaching before YouTube became so stupid. And online is becoming so stupid. It's gotten even stupider than it was before. And I've just become so turned off. Like, I really have. Sharon says, our support should have a long checklist. And you know what? You know what? I should bring the board back out. I'm, I'm going to look at some more of Nefakare, and then I'm going to bring the board back out. Jay Ebony sends 222 and says, your energy has been compromised, sending love, love, love. Well, you know what? I, I'm just, I'm saddened by the reality of things. I'm saddened by the reality of how black women seem to have such really low standards. We've been conditioned to feel lesser than and behave lesser than too. I'm going to pull the whiteboard out so that we can talk about some of the things that a person needs to have in place before we support them, male or female. And so, so far we have brought in $24 for this broadcast. So please, by all means, if you can, and I want to encourage people who are not regular contributors, because there's some people who contribute all the time in every show, and I appreciate that. However, I, um, I also want other people to contribute if they if they if they enjoying the content, if they benefit from the content, because I don't want it to be just the same handful of, you know, supporters. Um, I, I want people, new people to, to contribute and give and, and uplift the platform and support the platform. And there's many different ways to give. You can also share the video. You can share the link. You can um, share it in video, share it in WhatsApp, share it in your Facebook group, share it in instant message. You can share it on um, what is this? Instagram. You can you can share the video because the more people that come into contact with the video, the more likely it will be that the algorithm will show them another video in the future so that maybe they may see something else that they're interested in. So, um, so yeah, so that is that. So let us go ahead and finish up some of these, um, some of these text message messages, not text messages, some of these. Um, oh, there's one more thing that has come in from Tisha Misha, she says, first time cash app, you are so inspiring. Let me just, I'll show that real quick. So she says, first time cash app. So that's two first time cash apps. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, so um, let's get back to Nefakari and get this, this video seen a little bit more. Here we go. Keep in mind, Tanya TKO, the only thing she did was defend the black female image. Rightfully so. She felt like this outsider came in disrespecting her demographic. She pulled up the documents, pulled up the screenshots, pulled up the receipts. She did nothing but defend black women and hold his feet to the fire. And what did the women do? They said, forget that. Forget you. I'm riding with the Arab. And this is a little off topic, but think about when people say black women need to choose better men. You notice why it's so easy? for black women, the women in our community to get caught up with bad men, deadbeat dads, men who don't take care of their children. You know why it's so easy for them to constantly get caught up in the same cycle over and over and over and over and over again. Look at how easily this con artist who they never met can grab their loyalty, grab their attention and grab their support without even meeting him. Even when he gets exposed as someone who doesn't even respect black people at all, they'll still ride for him and ignore the red flags. And that is the same reason why they get pregnant by these deadbeats, these losers, these men who are not competitive, is this true? not productive, not intelligent, not competent, not reliable, not hardworking, not consistent. You ask them, why did you choose that man? It's the same reason why they chose to listen and subscribe to Angry Biracial because he makes them feel good. Even though he's a broken man himself with psychological trauma, who was not raised by a man, who had no father, was raised in a group home full of psychological identity issues. And he thinks that black women with two black parents are lower on the hierarchy in compared to mixed women. He said, remember what he said in the screenshot? He said, biracial women are nothing but black women with a white parent. You saw when Tiny TKO broke it down and she exposed them. She said, what did you mean that they're just black women? You, you just a black woman like you just a janitor you just a bum you just a child and tanya tko came to the defense of black women and now black women is talking about man I'm, I'm unsubscribing i'm unsubscribing why because you attacking our arab friend you're attacking our arab buddy and that my friend is why so many so many so many so many sisters in our community choose terrible men because the red flags could be in their face the receipts and the documents could be pulled up in front of their face and they still gonna look the other way and be like, I don't care what you say. I'm still gonna ride for him. Why? 
because he makes me feel good. I like what he has to say. Even if he's a self-admitted broken man with identity issues and childhood trauma, they'll still follow behind him because he makes me feel good. I told you in the beginning of the video, we had a lot to break down. This was a multi, this was a multi-layered discussion. That's why this video was longer than the others, man. It was just so much that we had to break down to the smallest molecule. The next comment, take a look up on the screen by Goddess Infinity One. She said, we appreciate you. Don't let the haters get to you. You are doing God's work. You have way more supporters than you think. Stay focused. God's work. Put your hater blockers on. Now, isn't that the same thing that Tariq and Sheed supporters say? Oh, man, put the hater blockers on. Oh, you just hating. Why you hating on Tariq? Why you hating on Tariq? It's the same thing. Why you hating on angry biracial? Why you hating on angry biracial? Bro, I'm telling you, the behavior on social media in these different communities, it's so similar. It's crazy. Tanya TKO didn't do anything except defend black women and hold him accountable. Isn't that what they always talk about? Holding men accountable, holding black men accountable. Well, allegedly, we got this Arab man who, who claims that he's a black man and we are holding him accountable for the world to see. And now what's the response? Put the hater blockers on. Put the hater blockers on. <laughs> Don't hold him accountable. Don't hold him accountable. Yeah, he disrespected black women, but it's okay because he really hates black men. So we'll let it slide. Man, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. If you're trying to get rich, I'm telling you. The way to get into these chicks' pockets, get a microphone, start slandering black men. They're going to open up the pocketbook. They're going to open up the checkbook. Since I've been on YouTube. Is that all that it takes? Slander black men? Is that all it takes is for a man to slander black men and then black women will open up their pocketbooks? Is that is what he's saying the truth? Is that the truth? I only received one cash app donation and that was five dollars and you don't ever see me sitting here trying to pander to nobody to run up a bag or run up a check and make money because I'm really doing this from the passion from the heart for the love and I'm trying to build a solid foundation as it pertains to my audience I only want intelligent black men and women in my congregation I don't want the psychologically emotionally traumatized individuals that need to go to therapy I don't want to I don't want them to be in my audience I'm willing everybody needs to go to therapy Nefakare listen so is what he's saying true all it takes is for a person to pick up a microphone bash black men and then they become famous get some money open up your pocketbooks and literally and figuratively because you know what is the other saying for a pocketbook you know what 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 the other how people you know are you opening up that too is that all it takes and then we're going to talk about that. I want to pull the board back out and then ask some questions. What are some things? So start thinking of some things that we need to hold people accountable for to have in place before we support them. So let's see. I'm willing to be patient and build my audience with integrity, with honor, respect, without selling my soul. Now, if y'all brothers want to sell y'all soul, if one of y'all want to sell y'all soul, I'm telling you, the blueprint is set. The blueprint is set. You could get rich this year if you want to. Derek Jackson made a million dollars off this grift. Derek Jackson made became a millionaire off this hustle, sure off did. this con game. Yeah, he got exposed, but by that time, he had already become a millionaire. It was too late. He had already got the big mansion. <laughs> now, we got this next con. So that's the, remember we talked about Derek Jackson. He was a 21-year-old man giving relationship. He was a 21-year-old man who had not married the mother of his child. Right. I believe that was the same woman that he finally married after he was exposed. And then you and then you all drove him out of that marriage. Right. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. He was 21 years old when he got on the scene, giving big grown women relationship advice. He didn't know nothing about life. He was wet behind the ears. And and just he was he was a, he was the young man giving big 35 year old, 40, 50 year old women advice or and, and, and hell having them direct their life based on his words. They sent him money. They gave him support. They made him famous online. I have never seen black women make another woman as famous as they make men. Derek Jackson was able to get up on big, big platforms. He was able to go cl very close to mainstream before his dick got him in trouble, right? Nobody knew how old he was when he came out because he, um, he looks much older than he actually is, you know? And he's still out here making videos. He still has over a million people liking his page. This is the thing. I'm like, so what what are our requirements as women, as black women? 
I want to talk about what's our requirement for people that we follow because I want to know that too. So a person can be entertaining. Okay, fine. So you're going to be entertained by a person, but what else does, do they need to have before you start defending them tooth and nail? Comment by Talks with Cookie. She said, I watched the end of it and I seen a lot I didn't like. I turned it off because I didn't understand what she wanted and the badgering was overbearing. I read the message and no, I do not agree with what you said, but we're all human. We don't always say things in the right context, but that's why we're still here to correct our wrongs. Now, that's the last comment I'm going to read, but to wrap it up, after everything that we broke down today, all the clips that we played, everything that got exposed, and you had black women in the comment section saying that I just turned off, I just turned off the broadcast because I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to see him get exposed, so I just turned it off. Even when another black woman is defending your image, your honor, your reputation from a man who insulted you, you prefer to throw that black woman under the bus just to attach yourself to some psychologically damaged Arab who doesn't even respect black people. An Arab who doesn't even want his mixed race daughters to see themselves as a black woman. He wants them to see themselves as mixed race. He doesn't even want his own daughters to lean into the fact that they are black women. He wants them to see themselves as equally as Arab as they are black. He wants them to embrace the Arab culture just as much as they embrace the black culture. But unfortunately, the Arab culture is inherently anti-black at its core and its foundation. It's anti-black down to the smallest molecule. They don't even see black women as human beings. And really, I feel sorry for Tanya TKO because she built her platform off defending black women's image. I'm not too familiar with her, but from the content that I've seen, the small amount of content that I've seen, this is standard for her. She defends black women on social media. And because she decided to hold this clown's feet to the fire, now we got all these subscribers turning against her. For a man who has so many red flags, you can't even imagine. The red flags are massive and in your face, and they're still ignoring all the red flags. And that is why they constantly choose terrible men to get involved with. That is why they're so bitter and so frustrated because they constantly get attached to these terrible men, have babies by these terrible men because it's so easy for a slick talking con artist to come up off the street and get inside their head. That's why I always hold them accountable when it comes to the men that they choose, the men that they get involved with, the men that they complain about. Because how can you see this many red flags on an individual and still think that they can be redeemed? At least Tiny TKO, even though on her channel, she does disrespect black men, she does bash black men, but she has the intellectual capacity to see that this guy has too many red flags to be acceptable. Even she understands. Even she understands that? Damn, man. Damn, son. Even she understands. That's just a sentence just like dude. Even she understands. As bad as she is, even she understands. I do not bash black men, nor do I disrespect black men. I tell the truth. I tell the truth on my channel. I don't disrespect anyone. I tell the truth. You know, in the same way that we're telling the truth about black women tonight, Black women, what is it going to take? It's like we are giving ammunition, fodder to people like Nefakare here. I even had to write on his video because he called, he was calling black women stupid and dumb and all this other stuff. And I had to write him. I actually commented on his video, which is something I don't typically do. And let me see if he wrote back to me. Let me see if he wrote back. Let's see. Oh, there's some replies here. Let me see what he had to say. Let's see what you had to say, Nephi. All right. So I said, um, because I told him. <clears throat> I where's my hold on. We oh, so here's my here's my question. I said, thanks for the shout out. If your purpose is to bring us together, the name calling, i.e. goofy, slow, dumb, etc., do you feel that that's the best way to do that? He hearted the comment and he responded by saying, heart, thank you for watching. And in Tanya TKO fashion, I came out and said, you're welcome. Please answer the question. Do you feel the name calling is the best way to quote unquote bring us together? And it looks like he's responded since then. And so let me see what he has said. Depends on the audience. My audience is 65% male. Typically, men speak in a very direct way when discussing topics. I try to remain as authentic as possible. I understand women receive information in a different way, so I understand why some may be turned off by things I say. I don't hop on the microphone looking to offend anybody. 
I'm just delivering commentary in an honest way. And sometimes my delivery and choice of words may be animated, but I got love for our women, parentheses, globally, and I'm not coming with bad intentions. I don't want my overall message to be lost in the delivery of or cadence of my speech. Let's talk about that in the same way that we talked about... In the same way that we talked about this dude, angry biracial, um, this is a this is a deflection. It's not about your cadence. It's not about your delivery. It's about the specific words, and it goes. It's not about a woman either, because even when you speak with men, I'm not really sure how you're going to get an opponent, an op, to come to the table when you're calling them dumb and goofy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, how do you how do you really have a, an honest conversation with a person where you expect a person to hear you out and hear your point of view and you're insulting them? It's not about cadence. It's about the verbiage. It's about the insults. And it's like, okay, so if you want to bring women to the table, why are you calling them dumb? It's like, okay, there are other ways to be able to express and be truthful without you calling people stupid. You women are so stupid. Stupid. You're so dumb and so goofy and all this other stuff. And it's like, you know, that right there lets there's it, it creates a barrier. It automatically, it's like if the goal, so I'm all about results. Oh, my board is moving. Well, that's the paper falling down, right? I'm all about results. And we talked about this in a video many, many years ago, how to win any argument. If your goal is B, if your goal is A, are such and such actions conducive to making that happen? So if your goal is to bring women to the table, to create unison and union between us, is creating the separation, the barrier of name calling, is that going to do it? You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't stand up in a person's face and expect them to continue to speak to you while you calling them dumb and stupid. This that be, it becomes abusive after a while. And it's like, okay, if you want to speak abusive language, you can speak it, but do you expect the person to stay there and listen while you do that? So nonetheless, so that is so that's that's my commentary on that. And so that's part of the reason that, you know, and it's like look this And so, you know, so and then, so that's the thing. Somebody says he claims he has, you know, um, love for black women. But then he says stuff like that's why you'll never get a man that is worth anything. This is why you you can't attract a good man. This is why you make all these these poor choices. And I, I can admit there are women out there who ignore red flags and just run straight in, just like they're doing with angry biracial. However, you know, it becomes a vicious cycle when women are not really taught from the get go, what to even look for. They look for situations that mimic their childhood. And in their childhood, there could have been a parent that was absent, abusive. Many of us beat, wail on, holler at, scream at, and even curse at our children. There's so many of us who are like, I turned out fine, I'm okay but you're traumatized walking around and you don't even freaking know it. You you know it's like your some of our some some of some of the parents out there in the community were the first bullies of the children. And you grew up internalizing all of that. You got all of these internal scars that makes seeing a person and their red flags seem like an attractive direction to go in. So let's go ahead and get the board back out again. Oh, Richard is leaving. Good night to you too. Enjoy your rest. It's early, so I don't know where you're at that you're that you're running off to bed unless you work the night shift. That's fine. We shall see you in the next video. I'm bringing the board back out. Right? Cuz I'm curious now at this point. So, what are some things? Let's talk about it. What are some things that a you know what, let's just straight talk about men and then we'll see whether or not that bleeds over into female content creators. What are some things that a content creator, that a male content creator should have in place um, before we believe what it is that he's saying and before we follow him? I want you all to help me out, please. I'm going to put your comments up on the board and I want you all to answer the question. What are some things that he should have in place?
Come, 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 come. Talk to me. Talk to me. What are some things he should have in place? I want to see what you all are going to say. So um, I got my pen out. There's a little bit of a delay between when I ask it and when you all hear it. So once you hear the question, go ahead and start answering it. All right, so let's see, consistency. Okay, credibility. Okay, what else? Integrity. All right, let's see, intelligent. All right, what else? What else? Track record, that would be consistent, consistency, right? Loving a black woman out loud, okay. All right, so loving a black woman out loud, okay. So talk to me, talk to me. Critical thinking, okay. Okay, critical thinking. What else? Reflective. Having the ability to reflect, especially self-reflect, right? I'm just gonna put that up there. Um, longevity. What if they're just coming on the scenes, right? So let's see, honesty. All right, honesty. Um. Respect, do we have that one here? Oh, no, we have reflect. Okay, so respect. All right, what else? Introspection, self-reflection, emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, okay, what else? Humility, I mean, for, I mean, is that really necessary though? Humility, accountability, okay, accountability. Accountability, what else? Um, Transparent, okay, but how transparent? You know, like people can show you things, but if you don't really know what's going on behind the scenes, how do you know that they're transparent? How do you know that they're trustworthy? Um, mental stability. Okay, so let's say mental stability. Mentally stable output. All right, let's see. Um, code of ethics. So we'll put ethics here. Boundaries. Okay, proof of validation. So let's say proof here. So proof, right? Um, I have a little space here, so I'll put credentials. All right, so credentials, right? Um, let's see, what else? No double standard, intuitive relationship with women in the past. No bias. Somebody is saying, Christian, well, honey, are you watching me? And I am not a Christian, so... I don't really know how that's going to pan out. Morals, integrity, self-aware, humble. Okay, so that's the that's the second time somebody said humble, so I'll put humble up here. Right? So, humble. Morals, do we have morals? We have ethics on there, so I'll take that as morals, right? Leadership. Um, okay. How do we get them to demonstrate leadership then? So let's, 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 so what type of leader though? Cause every person leads in some sort of way, right? So what type of leader do they need to be? So objective, all right. You can't see that that's too far over. So I'll put leader over here. I'll put objective right here. Objective. I also saw some people saying no bias. So objective is also, you know, no bias. 
Um, self-aware, we have self-reflecting up here. Um, so, examples of positive relationships. How can a vlogger, but you, we really don't know what's going on behind the scenes. So how can a content creator show that they have examples, especially if they're coming on the scenes to, um, they're, they're just starting out on the scenes, right? So then maybe we need to just wait and see how things pan out, right? So these are the things that you all have said that a person needs. And, um, and we have consistent on here, don't we? Yeah, consistent is up here. That's, that was the first one, consistent. Consistent. So yeah, so um I would I would I would I would say, you know what, one of the big things that I'm going to put on here that I want us to pay attention to when it comes to men, right? We can let me I'm going to write this with the red marker so it can stand out, right? Here. Here. Let me put this right here at the top. Does he talk to men? Does he talk to men? If he exclusively talks to women, I have seen, and I've, I've, I've talked to other people behind the scenes, and they have said that a, a male content creator that exclusively talks to women and he doesn't talk to men, that that should be a red flag right there. What are your thoughts on that? One of the people that I said is that that is a said that that is a huge red flag because men have to know how to speak with one another. Men know that women support financially. We support with clicks and shares. Men don't typically support content creators financially. And a man who is a man who has the mind of a man, is he doing anything to be able to correct the behaviors of men? Or somebody said my standards are too high. My lot of mercy, what? What do you mean? This is too high for a person to have honesty, respect, emotional intelligence. I don't know what to say about that. So yeah, so um, so I have found that in every case of man who has ever been blown out the water to be a charlatan and a fraud. It is because they are speaking exclusively to women because they know that in the women's spaces, it's a, it's a good hustle. Think about it. Have there ever been any, any men who give advice to women whose main platform is giving advice to men? Because if you even think about it, even Kitten Heels, he was giving advice to men and trying to talk to them about cologne and smelling good, but it wasn't until he started tearing down women and, he was giving people their little boost of schadenfreude that he then became, started getting famous. And this is what I'm saying. We have got to, let me, I want to draw some more red flags here. I want to do three of them. There. If a, if a male content creator is not talking to men at all, that is a red flag. If he's not having conversations with men, if he is not addressing male behavior, because the issues in our community cannot be fixed by women alone creating changes and shifts on the inside. And is this person really giving? Let me ask you all a question. Let me ask you all a question, because angry biracial is the one that we have up on the block right now that we're talking about. He's talking to women, but does he have any critiques on ways that women can be better. And I mean, not, not mean critiques like Kevin Samuels that are misogynistic and actually very harmful, you know, like telling you that if you're over 50 to just put yourself in the damn salvation army of dating because nobody's going to want you. That's not a helpful critique. That that's, it's, it's abusive. It's psychologically and emotionally abusive. It was toxic to our society. And I was, I was, I was actually relieved. I breathed a sigh of relief when the, when the, when the great mother came and ripped this person off of mama earth. Right. I was, I, I sighed a, br a breath of relief because now we could go into doing the healing, even though other people have tried to fill that gap. 
that man in particular was particularly diabolical. And I know that there are going to be some people who are going to say what I'm saying is messed up, but that man caused a lot of harm. He caused a lot of harm for women, for men, for young boys and their psyche. He created an entire genre of black women continuing to be bashed. But you see, the thing is that women, this is women's business right here. We are the matriarchs talking to women. People with penises coming out, exclusively talking to women, and then saying what? Saying stuff that makes you saying stuff that makes you feel pumped up. But at the end of the day, are you able to create positive change in your life from the things that he's saying? So angry biracial is making videos hollering about this relationship that he quote quote unquote allegedly had with a man that he's claiming to be his father, right? So it feels good to hear him, you know, get at a certain demographic that seems like they're not listening to us, to not hear, not hearing us. But at the end of the day, how is his videos? How, 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 wh where's the introspection for us, right? Where is the self-reflection for us in those videos, right? Where is the, where is the, where is the self-reflection for us? So let me, let me, let me put this right here. In what ways, right, are any of these men, right? So they're saying things that, that make you feel good. Even Ace Metaphor, you remember this guy, and you know, I don't typically say names because I don't like drama in my videos, but you remember this guy, what was his name? The one where I did the video, big wheels keep on turning, and I had the wig on, and he was like, ew, take off the wig, and this, that, and the other. Now he's making videos with shades on and a very sunken, sullen face, and he's bashing black women. Um, what is his name? Uh, let go, let go, that's his name, let go. Middle Lego, right? So Middle Lego there, remember when he was supposedly supporting women? What were the things that he was saying in a constructive, helpful way to help women create changes in their lives? What was he doing? I heard that he had some sort of um, groups behind the scenes where he was taking women's money and, and, um, and kicking them out and all this other stuff and blah, blah, blah. What was he doing to actually create actual shifts and changes? And did he have the credibility and the credentials to do so? So if there's a man who's like, oh, I'm going to life coach you, did he first take the time to go into his own life to make sure that he did the changes on the inside, get therapy, get coaching himself, learn how to be a good coach to other people? Did he get any of the credentials that we have down here, right? So what was he actually really doing? And did he do his due diligence to make sure that he would do no harm and be of the best and most, most assisted help possible to women? No. And then he turned around and now he's bashing women, talking about single mothers and they want welfare and that's why they kick, uh, unleashing all of his childhood trauma and his mommy issues onto women, right? Derek Jackson, what changes did he implore you to make? What self-reflection did he implore you to make? What credentials did he have? Was he mentally stable? Did he self-reflect as a man? Did he talk to men? If he did not talk to men, red flag, red flag, red flag. And, not, and then so now we have Ace Metaphor on the scene. And now Ace Metaphor seems as if he's talking to men because he's hollering at men but he's hollering at men in a very effeminate way. Are you even, are you man enough to take care? Meanwhile, and we, see, I see the grift because I, I, I reacted to his video years ago. And when I tell you he cussed me the fuck out, huh, he cussed me the fuck out in my comments. And I was like, yo, this is the same guy who says he supports women and blah, blah, blah. I wish I would have screenshotted it because then he came back and he deleted all of them because he knew that that wasn't a good look. But so now he's on here saying all of these magical words to women, but are we holding them accountable to have any of these things on the list? Especially since they've been online, did they recently just change up their motif, right? Do they have credibility, integrity, right? He does kind of, well, I'm not gonna say nothing. Let me mind my business, right? So, 
you know, listen. I just I, I wanna ask I wanna ask the question. That's the question right there. Are some of these people mentally stable? When you ask them about therapy, right? When I asked Ace Metaphor about therapy, he was telling me that I was insulting him. And I'm like, therapy is not an insult. Then I believe he tried to turn it back around on me and tried to insult me with, you know, talking about therapy. But therapy is a tool, especially if we're going to call ourselves out here helping people, right? Oh, my God. You all are acting crazy in the comments. All right. Let me put the board away. I just, I don't know what to do, honestly. I feel like I'm talking and talking and I ain't getting through. And I'm spending all these hours talking and talking. For what? Why am I talking and doing all of this talking? For what? For what? You know, like why? Why am I doing all this talking? I'm, I'm, I'm curious to myself right now. Roxy says, no, he's using his audience as a therapist. And that's the thing, right? What standard do we have? What standard do we have for what it takes for a man to get into our life? What standards do we have for a man to get in between our legs? What standard do we have? Even Steve Harvey. Did Steve Harvey talk to men? I believe he had some sort of thing for young men. But did he talk to grown men about ways that they can be better and better themselves? Or did he just talk to women? And did he ever talk to women about ways and changes that women can? Oh, he did. But the changes that he was talking about was toxic. Like, don't let your man see you without makeup on and, and other types of fuck shit like that. Right? So... So, yeah, so that is, that is, wait, what are you saying? No one on Ace Metaphor platform that he has on has any credentials or any sort or to be given advice. Well, you know what? This is the, this is the day and age that we're in. All of this is just, it, all of this is just for money now. It's for a money gra You know, I remember when I first got on YouTube and we did it for the love of it. I remember when I remember when YouTube was new. That's how long I've been on here. I remember when YouTube was new and people made content from the heart. I remember when people when the when the, when the theme was broadcast yourself and people had a message people had passion people had they had a direction that they were going in for the love of it I remember when people were on YouTube and it was pure. I remember when they 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 came up with the idea to pay people. I remember I remember when we all thought, "Yay, this is a good idea. We'll be able to be able to to make money for our passion." I remember, I remember, I remember when the corporations, once they started paying, I remember when the corporations started coming to YouTube. I remember when the stars started coming to YouTube and then all of a sudden, Puffy was on here and, and Usher, I believe, I believe it was Usher. All of a sudden, all of these big names were on here and then people were running to their page so that they could be able to come into contact with their stars. And I remember when everything began to shift, right? 
I remember when the prank videos became popular. And then it was just stupidness and just people who could one up the other. Then I remember when vlogging your life, I remember when people vlogged their life <laughs> because there was connection. We had community. <laughs> I remember when, when we, when we knew people's families, I remember when we knew people's husbands and boyfriends and their children. I remember there was a, there was a woman who had a girl, a, a little baby girl. She must be big now. And I remember following the journey of people and watching their kids grow up and make changes and milestones. And I remember when YouTube was pure. I remember. I remember when people came out and they vlogged about the death of their children. Their baby. I remember this guy, he had a he had a song. It was Return of the Mac that he sang and his child loved this song and then his baby died. And I remember, I remember when YouTube was pure. I remember. And then I remember when YouTube tried to change it up and YouTube tried to make content and they tried to push out the content creators and they changed shit all up because YouTube felt that they could do it better than we could. And I remember when YouTube put us out of the YouTube space in LA because they wanted to use the space as a production space for YouTube's own cre created content. But they learned, they learned that there's something special about the vlogger. They learned that there's something special about the authenticity of the vlogger. They learned that people didn't want canned videos, that they didn't want produced videos from YouTube that they wanted people like me who came out and made videos from the heart and from and for love for the people. I remember when YouTube was pure. And now it's a money grab. Now it's a let me see how outlandish I can be. People pimping their children. People pimping their children for views. Kids who don't even want to effing be on camera and they're crying because their mother got them on camera and they don't want to be. And the mother is guilting them. White, white mothers with biracial children. And they got to make some money somehow. I remember when YouTube was pure and now we got all these podcasts and all this toxic ass shit. And now we got these 15 second videos and one minute videos and people attention span going down so low that it's annoying to even have three seconds of, of silence of dead air that everything has to keep moving so much so that now they got the, 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 the fast forward feature um, or the speed up feature playback so that you can watch something in two times so that when you hear a person's voice at, at one time playback speed, it's too slow for you. I remember when YouTube was pure. I remember when it was a good thing. I remember when people were real and people broadcasted their real selves. I remember that. I remember. Now, TikTok is altering our brain with stupid ass nonstop content. We're being trained for these dopamine hits of getting hearts and likes and so much so that even on a platform like Telegram, when you write something, you know, you get a little dopamine hit when somebody hearts what it is that you like or that you wrote. I mean, now people are thumbing up comments and now we can re reply directly to people. And now Facebook has become such a toxic place of all this arguing and, and petty beefs and back and forths. And YouTube has become a money grab and it just, I don't even know, oh, couple channels with couple goals and 
women pimping their boyfriends in relationships that are bullshit behind the scenes. Hoisting up somebody, and that's all it fucking takes. And still, still to this day, we're being fooled. When will we learn? All it takes is for a black man to come up and talk about supporting dark-skinned women and, 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 and talk rudely and disrespectfully about black men that he has a vendetta against because his dark-skinned father didn't want him and white people wouldn't accept him and black people didn't feel like he was black enough. He's angry. He's angry at, he's angry at, at black people for not accepting him, but you don't see any of that anger for white people because white people gatekeep whiteness, right? Yeah, so... And so, yep, somebody's talking about YouTube shorts and yeah, I remember when Facebook was just for college kids too. That was a little bit before, but I, I, so I wasn't there for that. I came after, right? And I remember when it was families and getting in touch with old friends and that was a way that you could reconnect. I remember when Facebook had real profiles and photos, and this was before. I remember Black Planet. I remember Black Planet. I remember that. I remember when you could design your own page, and then MySpace and Friendster, and here we are. Here we are. And I just don't know where we go from here. Because YouTube is getting more and more ridiculous, more and more outlandish. Our brains are being manipulated by short-form content where we don't have the, the tolerance for long-form content anymore. People just watch for a few seconds, and then they, they just don't have the capacity. And TikTok doesn't show videos like that. Oh, I forgot all about the apples. TikTok doesn't show videos like that, the short-form content videos like that. They don't show those on inside China. They do that for us here in America because our brain and attention span, our our minds are being deteriorated. We've been on for an hour and 30 minutes. I'm going to check the apples and then um I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to jump out of here. Um I just I'm just curious because you know, it's like and I'm going to say this and and I hope you all hear me and hear me very well, right? I risked my life. I risked my safety to make those videos because that is a dangerous man. Make no mistake about it. That Briga is dangerous, right? <laughs> that Briga is dangerous. He is a very... He's very intelligent at the art of manipulation. He knows exactly what lies to tell. I don't have the capacity to be able to keep up with his form of crazy because it's just, it's so foreign to me. But black women are over there giving him, giving him clout and accolades and, and lifting him up off of, off of our pain and off of our deficiencies. And it's like, He knows exactly what lies to tell. I'm a woman. He knows that he's a man. And all he has to do is sow the seed of doubt that I was attempting to have an inappropriate whatever, right? And then that just sets the, the, the fire. As soon as you say it, it sets the fire, right? Even though I've said show proof, they don't even require proof. They don't even require proof. Just... And then, and then now I'm the one being bashed. I'm showing you a dangerous man in your midst and you're bashing me. You deserve what you get. You deserve what you get. Where is this person leading you? One person on my video last night says she gave him $485, right? If after the expose comes out and people are still supporting and contributing, one person came onto my doggone thing. Listen, Fulani, yes, I am protected. I know that. 
I know that I am protected. I am shielded. I am covered in the power of the ancestors. And not only that, I have real life, live protection around me. I mean, I, 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 I don't talk too much about my personal life, right? But I am protected. Those of you who know, you know, right? Those of you who know, I made some, I, I alluded to it with my beret. I alluded, but I don't need to say much more than that because surprise is the most powerful. So I am protected. I know that. Yep. I am. I know that. And huh, yeah, I'm not going to say much more than that. Because while there are people who sit back and watch and they think that this is entertainment, this is real life. We did a real life criminal background check on this human. We saw what this human is capable of. We saw. We saw the pattern. You want to pull out the board and talk about consistency. What has this person been consistent with showing and doing? Right? So, I'm just, I'm just curious. And you know what? Maybe I need to be doing more. Maybe just talking about the self-love lessons at the, at the end of every video. Maybe that's not enough. You know, we, we, we are working on a, a retreat you know, so that we can all come together. However, the, the retreat is not panning out, right? But maybe I need to do more. I mean, I have a, a self-love workbook, right? Okay, so Tony understands. Okay, all right. So you, so you, so you understand, Tony. You, 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 you know what it is that I'm alluding to. I don't have to say too much because you see real recognize real and real does not talk about what they're going to do. Real just does what it is that they do. You know what I'm saying? So I, I you know, a person, and, and I learned this growing up, a person who's like, I'm going to kick your ass, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a lawyer. I'm going to do a person who's doing all of that. Real does not talk. Real does. So Tony, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I just, this is, it's, re, this is real life. This is not a joke. Like this is, this is like people take this for joke and they take this for joke. And then does tink say that. Then tink say that. All they need is just a few clicks. Or they want to get internet famous for what? And you know what I realized today? You know what I realized today? I realized that people think I'm famous. I didn't realize that until today. Like, you know, like I'm, 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 I'm well known online and, and, you know, people recognize me, but I didn't realize that people thought I was famous. Like people think I'm famous. Like they see me as success they see me as and my videos are not even my videos what my videos are getting ten thousand views on youtube that's not that's not that's not big views it's not getting five hundred thousand a mil like like casey nightstat he drops a video it's getting a million views i don't get a mil I, but people think i'm famous like people are tagging me and, and and trying to make it seem like i'm some big effing deal and it's like I'm a person who turns on a camera and I make content. I'm I'm not I'm not famous. I'm not somebody to to gain clout off of, but I realize that this is people's perception. They perceive me as a way to be able to get views. They perceive, oh, if I talk about Tanya, I'm going to get hits. I'm going to get, I'm going to get traffic, right? It's so strange. So, social media is the new Hollywood. It's so true. It's so true. So the 
people, you see people saying that they think I'm a big deal. Oh my goodness. It's so strange. It's so, it's so interesting what other people think of you, right? It's, it's, it's really an interesting thing to see what other people think of you. And people do think, they think, three, see, Miz is saying, no, you're not famous. Exactly. This is what I'm saying. But people think I'm famous. And Gogo is saying, but you are a big deal. Okay, okay, I'm a big deal then. I'm a big deal then. But yeah, so it's it's very it's very strange, and it is, it 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 creates a conundrum, especially in, in a society like ours. Oh Lord, I see we have a person who needs. <laughs> have mercy lord have mercy lot of mercy so yeah so that is the I, I i um yeah go ahead get the likes up all of that right i will see you all in the next video i i, I feel like i'm just talking now at this point you know because thank you lanice i appreciate that you all say that i'm a big deal to you i appreciate that so that's that just lets you know about perspective because, um, oh, Crystal is saying my, my platform is so professionally done. Why, thank you, Via V. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Via love. So, yeah, so, um, <laughs> oh. so somebody said Candace Owens, uh, talked about YouTube famous people. Candace, um, Yeah, listen, the crazy part about it is, you know what, please share my videos because, oh, 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 cash apples, my lord, my lord. Oh, let me look at this to the cash apples. My bad, my bad. Let me, let me, come on, come on, come on. Let's get it. Come on. Mm, 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 You like my dance? Hey. All right. Okay. It's my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. So let us, let us read. I'm sorry. I just got into talking. I forgot all about the apples. Thank you for the reminder. Thank you for the reminder. <clears throat> I'm gaining health y'all gaining health. All right. So Adrienne sends $5 and says always teaching truth, even when it's unpleasant. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's difficult standing on the mountain alone while other people are just in delusion. It's, it's very, it's very strange. Your continued commitment to true. Thank you. I appreciate that. Paula. And then it looks, hey, Paulina sends $2 and says, love, knockout, love, knockout. Thank you. I appreciate that. Jennifer sends 222 and says, Espanol, mi primera manzana. Okay, I think manzana has a Z in it, but... Okay, so that's two first-time apples. Okay, okay, okay. Suzanne sends $5 and says, we have to be careful who we give our support to. We really do. We really do, but what is it going to take for us to wake up, right? And then Monique has a first time cash apple. You know what that means? I'm gonna come bust a wine for you. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, 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 hey. Let me bust a wine for you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> let me, let me, here, here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what else we have here. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Sharita says first time gifting. I appreciate that. So we have another first timer. All right. Kyle sends $10 and says, I sent the receipt. 
from the Atlantic Creole. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see. Demetra sends a dollar and says, Black women are Black male worshipers. They are conditioned. But even half a Black man, that's all it takes is the one-drop rule for our support? All right. Then she comes back and says, Black women are extremely conditioned from generations. Uh, is there another one? Okay, so I think that's the end of the sentiment, or generation. All right, Adrian sends a dollar and says, angry posted about you in your van on TT. Finish him. You know what? I What is there to finish? I've already, I've already made the video. I've already made the video. What more, what more can I do? I made the video showing his criminality. I'm not ashamed of the time I lived in my car. I'm not. You know, I was going towards my dream, and I that time helped me write the book that that I came out with by going into that space. So, listen, Amy sends two 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 and says for supporting women. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then let's see. Um. Oh, wow. Let's see. Tanya sends a doll and says, first time. So that's two more first times. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Okay. Shirival sends four dollars and says, just because I care. Is it Shirival or Shirival? You know, you never know nowadays. N Nika sends two dollars and says, for being a big deal. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Nika. Rihanna sends one, one, one and says, um, for you love what you do and do it with passion. Oh, thank you. Joanna sends two dollars and says, We're on that mountain with you. You know, I appreciate that. So thank you to the knockouts who saw and 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 did what it is that they need to do. For the people, for the women who do have self-love, for the black women who know their worth and they know that they're that. A person who was just bashing black women four months ago and then the next month was was talking about uplifting black women and then now trying to come out talking about I, I'm healed. I, I'm delivered. I'm delivered. You know, so. <laughs> Sierra sends 222 and says your fame is coming in the near future. Do we even really look? I don't even know because the, there are things that come along with fame that, you know. L'Oreal sends a dollar and says, Mardi Gras will watch later. At Mardi Gras will watch. This is, this is Mardi Gras? That Tuesday is tomorrow? Well, have fun, L'Oreal. Have fun. Ooh, are you in New Orleans right now? Rhonda sends $2. Thank you, Rhonda. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, so far, we have brought in, let's see, $119. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Every bit, every bit contributes. Mia sends $30. Thank you, Mia. I appreciate that. Mama Mia, Mama Mia. All right. Thank you. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the love. All right, so we got the two first-time cash apples. We didn't get another third one. Oh well, that means you. I'll save my. I'll save my moves. I'll save my moves. <laughs> All right. So listen, go out there and love one another. Most importantly, love yourself. And so, what is the self-love lesson that you've learned from today's video? Um, give your self-love lesson, and then I will give you mine after the fact. And I feel like maybe I do need to do more in terms of actually helping people create change because the videos apparently just aren't enough. Like I need some sort of tangible. Uh, me is saying, are you going to do the reaction videos again? You know, the thing about it is that I'm caught up in a boondoggle where I have to now, I, I put up a reaction video on the other page. So go check out the smaller page which is www.youtube.com forward slash at Tanya TKO clip. So I put up another clip today. So make sure that you go and you support the other channel. Um, let me see. Oh, I need to see the self-love lessons. Type SOL and let's see what the self-love lesson is. SOL, my intuition is never wrong. 
perfect. SLL, you can't save everyone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The celebrities ruined YouTube, and now they are taking over the podcast space as well. Like, Joe Budden should not have a... What the hell? Why does he have a podcast? Why are people listening to this bum? Each one, teach one. Don't ignore the red flag. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Don't come in... Wait, oh, dust comes in all colors, forms, and fake support. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh Uh-oh. Here. Introspection. Make sure I'm doing my best to exhibit the fruits of the spirit. Protect your brand and content. Trying to save some black women will compromise your mental health. Add more steps to my vetting process for support. You got to leave some black women behind. Yes, let me see. Come on, type these self-love lessons. Either sink or swim. If your standards for others are low, make sure you raise yours. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. Don't be so desperate for validation that you get the wool pulled over your eyes. That is a good one right there. I watched like 15 of them clips. I I didn't see it went by too fast. Do not live under the condemnation of others while God truth has brought you out the darkness of lies. Vet people who you support. Mm -hmm. Women who hate women must be left behind. You know what? Oh my gosh. I was just talking to a girlfriend today and she was telling me about how when she tells people about how good her husband is to her, when she tells other black women about how good her husband is to her, that these black women try to get with her man. And I couldn't believe it until I heard that today. I was like, what? So yeah, so when she t- when she tells other black women how good her man is to her, she was like, she was telling me story after story after story. And she even, she said she had to limit her, um, her, 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 just her interactions with, with new black women coming into her life because so many of them have tried to holler at her husband, tried to switch and walk all kind of crazy. I am on Spotify in front of him trying to, you know, he comes to drop the kids off for, um, for daycare and she laying up there in lingerie and so it's it's crazy. And I'm like, I had no idea that black women were out here doing this to other black women, but I can really believe it. I can believe it. I can believe it. Arizon says, I've been hearing about women like that. Yeah, I, I can't, I just, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I'm dumbfounded. Like um, bending down, picking things up in front of your husband, wearing um, no bra and, and and no panties on to come to your house uh, because they think your husband's going to be there and bending over and switching and walking past him and making unnecessary trips past him a- again and again and just craziness. And I'm like, what? Yeah, well, you know what? You're right. What is What was that social? And then the thing about it is this, and I'm going to tell you all this, right? The crazy part about it is You know, somebody tells you a story like that or tells you stories like that. And then do you say, well, wow, what 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 was your circle like? Like, who were you around or do you feel what it is that they're saying? You know, because it's like nowadays you have to be so discerning. You know what I'm saying? Like this person angry, you know, is talking about all the the wrong that was done to him and all of the ways that he was slighted, how much of that was really truth? How much of it was narcissistic sob story? You know what I'm saying? But somebody said side chick energy. But the thing about it is that there are women out there who become side chicks. There, There are, and I have been hearing men say for years, right? Somebody said who invites single women into their marital home? Really? That's problematic. If you can't invite, uh, if you can't invite girlfriends over to your house, that's we need to talk about that in another video. If you can't invite girlfriends over to your house, this is problematic. Ari says the the married ones will try your husband too. 
This is crazy. But but the thing about I forgot and lost my train of thought reading the comments. Man, but the thing oh, so then oh, so then how do you know the difference really? Because a person could just be giving sob and it's like you have to spend so much time trying to weed through. And the crazy part about it is that by the time we're all adults, we've all been lied to. You know, oh, it is Oh, we need to get out of here before this is going to be a two hour video. Let me jump out of here. I didn't, I didn't realize we were on for so long. I thought it was still like an hour and a half. So let me let me let me jump out of here and I will see you all in the next video. The, the, the last thing I was going to say is that we've all, oh, I never gave myself love lesson. The last thing that I was going to say is um, uh, that we've all been lied to. So why is it that we cannot be discerning about a person who's being accused of being a liar? At least take the time to to pay attention and see. And then the self-love lesson that I'm going to give for today's video, this is my self-love lesson here, right? My self-love lesson that I learned from today's video is how important it is to have a consistent voice, how important it is to self-reflect, and the same standard that you want other people to be held to, to self-reflect and see if that's the standard that you're held to. Because on this list and this board, you know, I mean, in terms of all of those things, I mean, I, I, I got all of that stuff covered, except I need to create more avenues for people to have methods to be able to to create change and shift in their lives. So the self-love lesson that I learned in today's video is really about elevating. And you know what? I'm, I'm working on some things. I'm still working on the game and all that other stuff because I think that the game is going to be very important. But yeah, it's like I need to, I need to continue putting one foot in front of the other. I need to continue to innovate and think of other ways. I also have learned that I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on YouTube if YouTube continues to, to degenerate. I don't think that's the right word, but you know, like a degenerative disease, like YouTube is degenerating and I don't know how much longer I'm going to be in this space. You know what I mean? I don't know how much longer I'm going to be a content creator. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be be creating videos. I am, I'm tired now at this point. I'm tired. I'm feeling burnt out. I feel like I'm spinning my wheels. I feel like I'm going in circles. I feel like people are not really hearing me. I feel like no matter how many people I help, that there's still so many more out there who not only don't want help, but would try, would, would rather hurt me rather than, you know what I mean? So I, I don't know. I really honestly don't know. I honestly don't know, but let's get out of here because I don't, I don't want this to be longer than two hours, but I will see you all in the next video. Tanya TKO and I am out. Go out there and love one another. Most importantly, love yourself. Peace, everyone. I just feel like it's getting stupid here. Like all of the stupidity on this platform for clicks and views and people so desperate for a hit that they doing stupid pranks and they doing dumb videos and it's just getting stupid. It's just, it's getting dumb. I, I just, I'm finding it to be very vapid and just, I, I'm finding it to be very silly and goofy, right? Arvis is saying you're loved, you got an audience. Oh, let me refresh the apples before I jump out of here. Make sure I have everybody. Nika sends $2 and says, finding out AB lives in my city. Ciao. Listen, I will see you all on the next one. I love you all very, very much. Peace.